决定与联合国合作来促进人权是一个很有策略的选择，使用国际工具促成国内的变化，但是这样做也会带来风险。联合国人权捍卫者宣言和人权理事会的决议，保障与联合国及其机制联络与合作的权利。但是，人权捍卫者参与联合国活动而受到惩罚或阻挠的现象越来越多，有时候发生在国内，有时候在纽约或日内瓦。这种现象我们称为报复。Well, I think that、um, when it comes to the UN and the work of civil society and NGOs,、uh, it's a work in progress. And by saying that, there's a, pro- a lot of progress that is needed.、Um, when when you're working on specific cases, the Human Rights Council, unfortunately, is very politicized, and this also means that depending on the country that you're working on or the issue that you're working on, you either have more access or less access. Uh, you either are more targeted or less targeted. For example, as Bahraini human rights defenders,、um, when I mean during the past five years, we have been subjected to reprisals inside the Human Rights Council. And although there was some reaction when we made complaints and so on, there were reactions from the officials in the UN. But unfortunately, it doesn't go beyond that. Reprisals can take many forms. They can be threats, intimidation, harassment, or physical violence. It can be disappearances, arbitrary arrest or detention,、um, even death or killings. From the China case, probably the most emblematic、um, reprisal that we've seen is the case of Cao Xunli. She was a woman human rights defender who worked on a range of issues, from land rights to health. To civic participation, in September of 2013, she was prevented from traveling to Geneva、uh, to participate in the UPR process, and was held in detention for six months before she ultimately died. While she was in detention,、um, her lawyers were unable to get access to her. She was unable to have access to, to adequate medical care,、um, and Chinese civil society responded. Um, and was was really seeking to support her and to raise this issue.、Um, it was raised in the context of the Human Rights Council, but unfortunately, up until now, the Chinese government、um, has has not conducted any investigations. There's there's been no real accountability for her death. 不过，尽管有这些风险，人权捍卫者仍然选择参与。当然，作为一名中国人。每个人可能都有这种恐惧，嗯，我想能够在中国做一名人权的律师，真的需要他的正义感和勇气。呃，当然我们也不例外，我们也有我们的恐惧。呃，不过我们还现在还相信，如果我们能够。坚守中国政府的底线，我们严格按照法律赋予的权利行事的话，我们暂时应该还会安全，是这样。There, there are options for responding. Absolutely.、Um, basically, if a defender is trying to come to the Human Rights Council and participate and is prevented from doing so. By、um, a, a state official or by a part of their government, they're able to report that to the president of the Human Rights Council, who has not only a responsibility but an, an obligation to take that up, to engage with the country and、uh, of concern, and basically ask, "What is the situation here? Is there follow up?"、Um, and press for some accountability.、Um, the second. Thing that comes out of this is a report that's actually compiled by the UN in New York and published by the UN Secretary General. This report covers a whole range of cooperation with the UN, but also specifically lists cases of reprisals and includes updates or exchanges with the governments in question.、Um, these two are public ways of making reprisals more visible. 
Um, and for many governments, that's enough already to discourage reprisals from happening. One a case is uh, South Sudan, a case of reprisal against the human rights activists. Our own focal point, Mr. Yakani, who was supposed to come to engage the council, was stopped by the security of South Sudan at the airport. We made a statement in reaction to that, to the Human Rights Council. The sitting president of the council made a presence itself, which on the spot, he addressed that case for intervention. And Yakani was able to address the council through a secure video in one of the missions in Juba. 最好的保护往往是预防，可以和公民社会中的其他行为者合作，游说那些支持人权捍卫者的国家。他们施加的压力能够保证报复会付出比较高的代价，也就是说，实行了报复的国家，想要逃脱责任就不那么容易了。I think it's uh, for for a lot of the governments, especially in the Middle East right now, it's about uh, cost and value. And so what they do is they'll imprison the human rights defender. If the cost is not too high of keeping them in prison, they'll keep them in prison. If the cost of keeping them in prison is higher than the value they're getting out of keeping the human rights defender in prison, then um, they'll release them. We try to help those who get in trouble because they speak out and try to defend the human rights of others. We try to help those who are, who are being active in defense of human rights and receive some reaction because of that, whether that's from government authorities or it's from other actors, people who, who are arrested, people who are threatened, people who are, are defamed, people who are attacked. Uh, we try to help them and support them in order that they can continue to work to defend human rights. Now, 政府不应该以任何方式侵犯这项权利，但是有时候他们会这样做，这叫做报复。联合国官员可以接收关于报复的投诉，并采取行动向相关国施加压力，但是他们的权利是有限的。建立公民社会网络，接触外交官员，都有